So hey guys, this is Aditya Matra and welcome back to the channel. And today we'll be looking at how you can uh, deploy your existing Flask project on pythonanywhere.com. So this is my project. Uh, and if you go to the pythonanywhere.com, uh, you have to upload file by file. So what you can do is uh, create an archive of your all the folders and just upload that file. Okay, so now uh, I will create a folder here for our project. And I will upload the uh, archive on in this folder. Uh, okay, the, this is uploaded and then you can go to the console, uh, create a bash console. This window will pop up and then you just have to uh, move to the, that directory and uh, just unzip that archive so you, as you can see all our project files and folders are uploaded in this directory now uh, then you can read this uh, archive file now you have to create a virtual environment for your uh, project uh, python project to run so you can just uh, uh, paste uh, this command in uh, description box uh, this is command says that mk virtual in, that is uh, creating your virtual environment of this python version that is uh, python 3.7 and the name of your virtual environment now this uh, virtual environment will be created in this dot uh, virtual ends folder as you can see uh, it's installing some essential file, uh, files for uh, uh, libraries for python so we we'll wait delete uh, complete okay so it is created then if you can see we are uh, logged into the virtual environment that we have created so now you have to uh, install all the all the uh, dependency that uh, will be required for your project i will just install flask flask mysql db mm, nltk So, pip install flask. It will uh, install flask for your flask project. Now we will just wait for it to complete. Then pip install. So all the dependencies is installed. Then you can just exit from this uh, console and go to the dashboard, uh, or you have to go to the web first and uh, add a new web file. And just click on next. Uh, then click on manual. Uh, click on Flask. I guess mm, no. Just click on manual configuration. Uh, select your uh, Python version that you have selected for the virtual environment. Then next. Okay, so this window will pop up. 
then you just have to uh, add a virtual environment here that you have created dot virtual Okay, so that file is added, and then you have to add a path of your project here on the source code. Just add home your username. folder that too is added and then just reload this and your website will be uh, live on the this uh, address Sorry. okay so as you can see this website is edited but uh, you have to go to this uh, link uh, no this okay okay you have to uh, click on this file will be opened and as per your requirements uh, you have to uh, just so you have to what you can say keep the code and other code you have to remove so I will remove this since our app is class project I will remain, uh, remove other uh, comments okay for flask uh, you have to keep this import sys then path this if condition and this import okay so you have to change this to your folder and then just save okay and now if you go to this website still some problem okay we have to reload first oh no something is missing okay here you have to give your uh, main file name that is, uh, you have uh, created for me uh, it is I guess main.py uh, yes main.py and then just reload it okay. so my uh, website is now live on this pythoninvia.com so thank you for watching uh, my video uh, I think next video in the next video I will uh, show you how you can uh, create a database for, for your uh, Python plus project so bye keep subscribe and uh, keep supporting our channel thanks